Dan Reed is my best friend in the British wrestling business. And tomorrow night, Dan is going to enter himself into the XWA Gold Rush Rumble. Now, Dan's not listening to me when I, when I ring him up, when I send him messages on Facebook calling him an idiot. So the only way I can get him to see reason is to produce this, this, this video as some kind of way of shaming him publicly into, into seeing what a mind-numbingly stupid decision this is. You see, Dan, when I sold you the XWA last year, I did it because you wanted to get back into wrestling promotion. You'd had a, a few years out due to, you know, you'd had a few personal issues. We don't need to go into that. I did it for the right reasons. I thought you'd be a great custodian of my legacy, what I used to do in Morecambe. But I didn't think for one second that you'd, you'd do anything quite this insane. I mean, do you not remember, Dan? It was two and a half months ago when you had... I was at PCW. We'd just done the Ring of Honor Super Show weekend. I come home on the Sunday. I get a phone call. And you tell me you're in hospital and you've had a stroke. A stroke, Dan. And two days later, I read on Facebook your wife Emily telling me that you don't even remember having that conversation with me. Dan, you do not come back from a stroke and then two and a half months later, put yourself in a match with 14 other wrestlers. Sam slams in that match, Dan. What if he drops you on your head? Have you not thought about that? I mean, how many times have you told me over the years, oh, I've been out flyering and my knees are knackered, my back's a, a mess. You're a physical wreck, Dan, and you're in your early 30s. You've got a wife, you've got two young children, Winnie and Emerson. Do you think they look up to you? Are you doing this because you think it makes you some kind of superhero father? I, I understand, no, I understand, you know, you got in the Sunbury local paper. There you were with the XWA championship belt. You know, I've been there. I did that. You do it for ego. You do it because it's a bit of publicity locally. It helps you sell a few more tickets. But is it really worth it, Dan? Is it worth your long-term health? And is it worth me, your best friend, thinking to myself that if something happens to you tomorrow night... If you end up a vegetable, or even worse, the fact that I sold you the XWA is going to be on my conscience forever. Just reconsider, okay?